children, the most precious objects they gave to them to, to, to protect. How could that be if they're our enemies, mortal enemies? Because they're not. It's not a religious conflict. That's a Zionist ploy of accusing everybody of being anti-Semitic. You want peace? You want to have a conference here of peace? Step back and look and read the facts. Not the facts that's been misconstrued by the Zionist propaganda. The facts that are realities. The facts on the ground. How we've been living for hundreds of years in Yemen, in Morocco, in Tunisia, in Palestine, in Egypt. What Arab land have not Jewish people been living together with Muslims without any human rights groups? Tell me what land the Jews did not live in harmony with the Muslims. In Iran, we have over 25,000 Jews there, thank God. Why? Because this is not a religious conflict. It's purely because of a political movement, a relatively new movement, which is antithetical, contradictory to the Jewish religion of thousands of years. Judaism is spirituality, a religion of compassion to emulate God. Zionism has been created 100 years ago by atheists, people who have abhorred religion, who wanted to transform Judaism from religion to nationality, to a purely materialistic base, godless in its essence. That is not Judaism, and they have no right to use the name of Israel. They've usurped our name, they've stolen our, our symbols, and they've stolen our identity. And they are causing death and destruction, year in and year out, for over 50 years. Death and bloodshed has not stopped because of a pure ideological belief called Zionism. They sacrifice on their idol bodies, human beings, hearts, souls. They rent, they've destructed houses, they've destructed people's lives. What can we do about this? Let's step back and think. There is a solution, with God's help. If we would put away the politics, then we could know that we've been living and coexisting together. We most profusely apologize to the Muslims, to the Arabs, what has been done to them. And then we can return and make restitution for what has been done to them. And then we will be able to live in harmony. Not an Israeli state, a one Palestinian state. One state that we have been living for hundreds of years, there there will be peace. And you will see that the 50 years has been a nightmare, a mirage, and nothing to do. Your pure fear mongering, that's what Zionism does. It's panic, throwing, going into a theater and yelling, fire, fire, that's what Zionists do. We've been living with the Muslims. We've been living, yes, Ahmadinejad keeps on stating that he does not want to harm the Jews, but the Zionists keep on attacking us. Of course you don't, because you have an agenda. You want to further Zionism. You want enemies. You want enemies in order to be able to say you're protecting the Jews. We don't want enemies. We want to live in peace. We have been always living in peace with the Muslims, and we will, with God's help, continue to live with them in peace. We implore the participants in this conference, read, step back, study the history truthfully, and see what the true Jewish voice is of hundreds of thousands of Jews who are still true to their religion, whether they're living in Jerusalem, whether they're living in New York, what do these Jews in Williamsburg section of Brooklyn, hundreds of thousands of Jews who are the most God-fearing in the community, why are they all opposed to the state of Israel? Why is that one Israeli flag in Williamsburg, Brooklyn? These are the most God-fearing religious Jews. Why don't they fly an Israeli flag? They have Hospital help, they have had solo ambulance or so everything free of charge to help people, the most greatest uh, charitable organizations. Why these compassionate people don't support the state of Israel? Why not? Why not? Because they are self-hating Jews? Why? Are they fools? Are they fools? The reason is simply because they fear God. And I know why. You don't know why and I know why. Because they're God-fearing. And God forbid us to have a state. We are in exile by God with the free exile. And we are forbidden to oppress the people. We are forbidden to oppress the Palestinian people and steal their houses. That is what Judaism says. Thou shalt not steal. Thou shalt not kill. We have no right to the rule over the land of Palestine. This is what Judaism says. Not what these you, what these robbers say. It's what the real Jews say. This is what Zionists are doing. 